All right, it's official, everybody. Jesse James Walsh and Claudia... Uh, Jesse James West! All right, it's official, everybody. Jesse James West and Claudia Walsh are officially shipping each other for either views, for a relationship, or both. We're gonna break it down and really analyze it and see what's going on here on another episode of me reacting to stuff. Before we get started, before we get started, if you're looking to improve your online dating life, well, I started a free class for you. You can click the link in the description after you watch this video and you will learn the number one change that you can make to your online dating approach that will get you only attractive dates. Attractive as Jesse James or Claudia Walsh. Attractive as them. Let's get on with the video. How do you do this without like not just being disgusting? They want you to be disgusting. Mm. You have to shove it in your mouth. Well, don't like. Don't. <laughs> I'm not like an on your finger. I don't know your hands again. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> 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 Did you just see me spill wine on the pizza? No. What if you dipped it? I started chugging it and then I spilled it everywhere. Get the hell out of here. Please. So so far, they definitely have chemistry with each other. Their personalities definitely align. You know, you could tell that they would get along with each other outside of a YouTube filming situation. And one thing I could definitely say is Claudia is probably actually attracted to Jesse. Something that I'm noticing during just these first few minutes is whenever Claudia laughs, she always kind of moves her head into like Jesse James's shoulder and kind of like hee 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 that's kind of like an indicator of interest. Now, obviously, we never know anything for sure. This is just literally me speculating off of a couple minutes of a YouTube video. They could have literally talked about it before filming and said, all right, we're gonna do this collab, we're gonna ship each other, it's gonna really help the views, and we're going to act like we're actually into each other. This could be something that they're planning and doing. So that being said, it's really just me going with my gut. From what I'm seeing, it kind of looks like Claudia is actually attracted to him. Does that mean they've hooked up? Does that mean that they're dating? Does that mean anything? No, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a hunch I have. Do you think dating's easier for girls and harder for men? As a man, you're approaching the woman and you're making the moves and it's her call whether she's gonna let that door open. What do you, what do you, what's your opinion on it? I think it's the same. I think it's pretty equal because if a girl is interested in you, she's gonna come up to you. What? Sir, no. I'm pretty sure I'm the one that was giving you the hint first. I was just really, really intoxicated. <laughs> mm. No, 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 no. Don't take it that way. No, no, no. I'm getting myself in trouble. I was intoxicated in the moment to not, because that made me oblivious. You weren't oblivious. You picked up when I was Eventually, though, but it took too long. It took a long time. This is juicy. This is really uncomfortable. So wait, hold on, hold on. Are they actually together? Are they dating right now, officially? Because that's what it sounds like in their conversation right there. I'm not following any of this. Somebody sent this video <laughs> to me to watch it. Maybe they are. Kind of always like a game of wondering, is this person into me? Do they just want to f me? So everyone thinks like you have to play the game to get what you want. Once again, like if you're too nice and you're just giving yourself up and you're like, here you go. Like I feel like so many dudes out there, especially if they're watching this right now, they're like, do I be, do I be nice? Do I be a do I not care? Do I put no. effort in? It's like so, if you're, I, I if struggle thinking, like, what do you do? If you're thinking that much about it, then you're probably like either one with the talking to the wrong person or you're just thinking too much. Wow, Claudia, exactly true. If you are thinking about that stuff, you're talking to the wrong person. It's so funny how I could see one person that is so, so anxious and I take them, I plop them in a place where they're supposed to be, and they're the most confident, attractive, charming person in the room. So often people's dating problems have nothing to do with their social skills or their confidence and has everything to do with who they are actually interacting with, who they're meeting. What do you find attractive about me? My personality or my looks more? You should pick one. What's more attractive? Your personality, your ambition, your drive, how dedicated you are to what you do. Cheers to the governor. So by the way, once again, Claudia pointed out something really, really important when it comes to attraction. People are not attracted to money or status. People are attracted to what brought the money or status, which is ambition, drive, a sense of purpose, a sense of giving value to the world some how? This is why so many people that give advice about dating on the internet are 
Let's just say it, they're dum-dums, they're jabronis. It's because they're only looking at the surface of how attraction works. Yes, you might wanna spend time with somebody with money, why? Because, I mean, they'll spend money on you, but you won't be attracted to them. But you will be attracted to somebody that has so much purpose and is bringing value to the world. And how much money you have is usually a pretty good, but often rough indicator of that. My initial decision of what we were doing was film. There was nothing else going through my head. You didn't look at me and think any, like anything at all? I thought, damn, she's pretty good looking. And then just film. Okay. So what Jesse was showing right there is his sense of purpose. Somebody with purpose is so focused on what they're doing. They're not focused on, ooh, does this girl like me? Ooh, what does she think of me? Ooh, they're so fucking focused. That focus is what brings confidence. That focus is what stops them from thinking about anything else. It's what stops them from being anxious. When you're anxious about something, it merely means that you are not purposeful enough. That you're right, you're right. My intentions are to get to know you better, learn who you are, discover deeper things amongst ourselves by having amazing conversation, have our fun. Everyone's gonna be disappointed in your answer. I'm expressing my feelings to a woman over the camera. He's feeling vulnerable. I'm really f***ing vulnerable right now. I'm gonna be blatantly honest. I truly like you. <laughs> truly did not expect it. No, it's one of those things like you know they say like it's, it happens when you least expect it. That was not the intention of being in Maryland. Yeah, I didn't. I actually put it off limits. Really? In my head, but <laughs> I, I realized it's like okay, obviously, and then also once I realized that there was like something going on, it was like it was a very nice feeling that I wanted to explore. Thus, putting us in this position right now, I, it's hard getting intention and, and, and expectation confused because I expect nothing. I'm not asking that. Like, I, I expect... I'm like, not you asking stop what you... Moral, I, I, I'm I not asking nothing. what you want from me. I'm asking what is in your My head. intentions is to get to know you the best of my ability. See you when we can. Develop something. You just, like, went like this around... Yeah. I am someone that goes with the flow. Whether this goes in or not, like, I do really like you. <laughs> All right, that was it. I'm impressed. First of all, Jesse has an amazing personality and he's definitely super charming, super likable. Outside of his looks, there's really no question why Claudia is attracted to him. In fact, this gives me a good opportunity to list what I have found are the nine traits of charm. And you could tell me if you think Jesse fits all of these. Number one, embracing your individuality. Does Jesse do that? I think so. Number two, has fun and is playful. Yes down to earth. In other words, does he laugh at himself? Is he self-deprecating? Does he get vulnerable? Yes. Four, taking a special positive interest in others. Yes. Five, rebellious and free-spirited. Yes. Six, at the same time, also polite, decent, courteous, amiable, pleasant. Number seven, quick-witted. Yes. Eight, graceful. Now this one's a little bit hard to describe, but I write it as, Grace means to be physically interacting with your immediate environment in a harmonious, controlled, and positive way. Basically, not clumsy. <laughs> and nine, passionate and purposeful. So it's obvious that Jesse possesses all of those traits, which makes him, by my definition, charming. And honestly, usually for a person to gain all of those characteristics this early on is rare. So I imagine that he had a really good influence growing up, either by his best friends or by family members. Now this is about the first full video I've seen of Jesse James West. I've seen him here and there on the internet, but really never got to know who he is. And just from this, I could say you could definitely study him and see how he interacts, his social skills, the way that he is with people, and use that to help you in your own social skills and relationships going forward. So they said it in this video, are they actually in a relationship? No. And I believe everything that they're saying here. And it merely because Jesse comes off as such an authentic person. Are they hooking up and kind of seeing each other? Yes, 100%. Are they dating dating? Like the thing that you do right before a relationship? Uh, not really yet. Will they get into an official relationship? 
I don't wanna like jinx it for them, but I do think so. And not just because of how much chemistry they have, how much shared lifestyle and values and personality that they have, but also, come on, because just the pressure of the internet kind of wanting it to happen, pushing them together, it's kind of inevitable even if it happens for a short period of time. It's obvious that Jesse has that type of personality where he is never really settled on one thing. And because of that, I'm not sure he's ready to settle down for quite a while, but I think they have a good relationship going. I'd love to see where it goes if this video gets to 3,000 likes, let's do a part two. And if you're looking to improve your online dating approach, you can click the link in the description for a free 20 minute class that shows you the one thing you need to change in your online dating that will guarantee only attractive dates that you will have chemistry with. All right, this is Anthony from the future. I had a little bit of time to really think about the video I just filmed the day before about Jesse James West and Claudia Walsh. And I was talking a lot about how great I think Jesse James is. And I do, I think he's really great. But if we're getting really nerdy about social skills and charm, there is one thing that if he was watching this, I would suggest to him. And I suggest to all of his fans that watch this as well. I was watching how Claudia was interacting with Jesse and I was noticing that I felt personally that she's a little bit not fully herself yet around him, which is totally fine, but I was trying to figure out why. I believe because I have acted the same exact way Jesse has in the video that I watched, where I am just so perfectly on when I'm interacting when I'm expressing myself. Like I'm so in who I am, I'm authentically putting out myself to the world, I'm being playful, I'm being just the right amount, vulnerable, all of these perfect things. And I realized it intimidates people. In a good way, obviously, like they, they like me, they admire me, they wanna like ride my vibe. What I noticed over the years was, it was actually making it worse for my own enjoyment of interacting with people. Because people would be a little bit intimidated by how I would be acting, how how sharp I would be with them. That would get boring for me. I'd go, oh, I don't like how people are kind of a little bit off around me. It's not fun. Like I want people to be their real, real, full, weird, fucked up selves around me. Cause that's more fun for me. And then I get to connect with them on an even deeper level. And so if I could suggest anything to Jesse, who I think is probably one of the most charming YouTubers right now, I would say let out even more of the wrong parts of you. Let out even more of the weird parts of you. The parts that you really think people wouldn't like. The parts of you that you think you would get rejected by Claudia for. I would say maybe there's a part of your sense of humor that you think people would think is too weird, too off. Let that out. Talk more about where you're insecure in your life. This is the type of shit that is like high level advanced charm and social skills. Because when somebody that's kind of pitiful and pathetic talks about their insecurities and all that stuff, obviously it comes off like really bad. But to somebody that is so sharp, so confident, so themselves, when they're expressing their insecurities all over the place, it makes them even more charming. It's kind of like whatever side of the spectrum you are using it, it just amplifies it. So if you're a really confident person, talking about your insecurities just makes you more charming. If you're a really, really kind of insecure person, talking about your insecurities just amplifies that. Same thing with your weird side, same thing with your vulnerable side. Now I know that Jesse either was raised with really great best friends or family members that taught him how to be so sharp socially. And what I have found is people get into problems trying to dance on that line way too perfectly. And I've realized when people get to the next level of their social skills and their charm, they learn how to deviate from that line of acceptability and perfection even further and further, which actually, it's weird, it's counterintuitive, it makes you 
you even more charming. And the reason why I say this is not just for Jesse's sake if he's watching this, but also for his fans, because I don't want people watching Jesse and going, wow, I have to operate at those high levels if I wanna be that charming, that attractive. In fact, when you get to such a high level, you should be doing worse. You should be embarrassing yourself. You should be, <laughs> that's what charm really is. Charm is when you are able to balance being so sharp socially, being so confident, being so positive, but at the same time, being complete chaos, being deviant, being a mess. And when you balance those so perfectly, that is when your attractiveness level and when your ability to connect with others just skyrockets because people start feeling really comfortable around you. You know, I remember growing up and having those types of friends. There were two types of friends. And I would say this is like a Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin thing. And if anybody knows about Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, they were some of the biggest stars in the 50s. So in one of their documentaries about these guys, one of their friends talks about going over to like a barbecue with Dean Martin at Dean Martin's house and at Frank Sinatra's house or whatever. They were having like a family barbecue. And he says, if I went to the barbecue, I'm going up to Frank Sinatra and I'm kind of kissing the ring. I'm respecting him. I don't want to say anything wrong around him. When I go up to Dean, Dean, I know I could feel so so, so comfortable just laughing about anything with him. Because I know that Dean is gonna laugh at anything. Dean is gonna be the weirdest. Dean is always going to turn everything into a joke and I could feel so comfortable around him. It's these two kinds of confidence. It's these two types of attractiveness. And I personally believe in what I have found in terms of happiness and success is that Dean Martin actually is the more charming, more attractive one. It's because he actually has that ability to make the people around him just as confident and themselves as he's feeling. I actually believe there's a slight hair of an insecurity when somebody is so perfectly on, and this is how I used to be too. I used to pride myself in how good I was socially that I would put a little bit of my vulnerabilities away. I would show just enough vulnerability to make people go, wow, this person is like so on and perfect, but not enough to make them go, oh, I'm starting to see the cracks in his armor. I'm starting to see that he's just a human. Now I want people to see I'm human. I want people to see when I'm anxious. I want people to know that I'm insecure about a lot of things. Why? Because when you watch me, you go, oh, yeah, he's, you know, he may be socially like talented or whatever, but he's just like me. And that makes me feel comfortable to be myself around him. Now again, this is all for the person's benefit. You are gonna have better judgment knowing which people you actually like spending time with because you are gonna get to be able to see their real personalities faster and stronger than you would if you were intimidating them a little bit with how confident you are. Anyway, that's just the last thing I wanted to mention because I thought it was important. I want to make sure that people are learning confidence and charm and social skills. Know that it doesn't have to do with making people feel intimidated or uncomfortable around them. It's actually the opposite. It's enabling. I was about to say, when I was a kid or in my early 20s, I would have those two kinds of friends. The people that everybody loved spending time around was the Dean Martin, the one that just made Everybody feels so at ease at being their real weird fucked up kind of wrong selves where my friends that had more of the Frank Sinatra vibe, yes, they respected them, they kissed the ring, but at the same time, they were scared of saying the wrong thing. They were scared of being rejected. They were scared of being judged by him. Um, just something to think about. That's uh, about it with this video. Yeah, maybe I'll make a part two. Let's get 3,000 likes. You know, I used to do 10,000 likes back when my channel had more <laughs> views. Let's get it to 3,000 likes. Not that hard to do. Share it with your friends. Share it on Twitter. I don't know. Maybe you have like a really popular uh, Jesse James and Claudia fan cam account. <laughs> Share it on there. Let's get this video up to 3,000 likes, baby. Then I'll do part two, baby. Bye.